Matthew 1. The Genealogy of Jesus Christ. 1 1. This is the record of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. 1 2. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. 1 3. Judah the father of Perez and Zerah, by Tamar, Perez the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram. 1 4. Ram the father of Ammonadab, Ammonadab the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon. 1 5. Salmon the father of Boaz, by Rahab, Boaz the father of Obed, by Ruth. Obed the father of Jesse. 1 6 And Jesse the father of David the king. David was the father of Solomon, by the wife of Uriah. 1 7 Solomon the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asa. 1 8 Asa the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah. 1 9. Uzziah the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. 1 10. Hezekiah the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Ammon, Ammon the father of Josiah. 1 11. And Josiah the father of Jeconiah and his brothers, at the time of the deportation to Babylon. 112. After the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel. 113. Zerubbabel the father of Abiad, Abiad the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azor. 114. Azor the father of Zadok, Zadok the father of Achim, Achim the father of Iliad. 115. Iliad the father of Eleazar, Eleazar the father of Mothan, Mothan the father of Jacob. 116. And Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, by whom Jesus was born, who is called Christ. 117. So all the generations from Abraham to David are fourteen generations, and from David to the deportation to Babylon, fourteen generations, and from the deportation to Babylon to Christ, fourteen generations. The birth of Jesus Christ. 118. Now the birth of Jesus Christ happened this way. While his mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. 119. Because Joseph, her husband-to-be, was a righteous man, and because he did not want to disgrace her, he intended to divorce her privately. 120. When he had contemplated this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, Son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. 121. She will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. 122. This all happened so that what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet would be fulfilled. 123. Look. The virgin will conceive and bear a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. 124. When Joseph awoke from sleep he did what the angel of the Lord told him. He took his wife. 125 But did not have marital relations with her until she gave birth to a son, whom he named Jesus. Matthew 2. The Visit of the Wise Men. 2 1. 
after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, in the time of King Herod, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. 2 colon 2 saying, Where is the one who is born King of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. 2 colon 3 When King Herod heard this he was alarmed, and all Jerusalem with him. 2 colon 4 After assembling all the chief priests and experts in the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. 2 colon 5 In Bethlehem of Judea, they said, for it is written this way by the prophet. 2 colon 6 And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are in no way least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. 2 colon 7 Then Herod privately summoned the wise men and determined from them when the star had appeared. 2 colon 8 he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go, and look carefully for the child. When you find him, inform me so that I can go and worship him as well. 2 colon 9 After listening to the king they left, and once again the star they saw when it rose led them until it stopped above the place where the child was. 2 10 When they saw the star they shouted joyfully. 11. As they came into the house and saw the child with Mary his mother, they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasure boxes and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 2.12. After being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they went back by another route to their own country. The escape to Egypt. 2.13. After they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to look for the child to kill him. 2.14 Then he got up, took the child and his mother during the night, and went to Egypt. 2.15 he stayed there until Herod died. In this way what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet was fulfilled, I called my son out of Egypt. 2.16 When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he became enraged. He sent men to kill all the children in Bethlehem and throughout the surrounding region from the age of two and under, according to the time he had learned from the wise men. 2.17 Then what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled. 2.18 A voice was heard in Ramah. Weeping and loud wailing. Rachel weeping for her children. And she did not want to be comforted, because they were gone. The return to Nazareth. 219. After Herod had died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. 220 saying, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who were seeking the child's life are dead. 221. So he got up and took the child and his mother and returned to the land of Israel. 222. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. After being warned in a dream, he went to the regions of Galilee. 223. He came to a town called Nazareth and lived there. Then what had been spoken by the prophets was fulfilled, that Jesus would be called a Nazarene. Matthew 3. The Ministry of John the Baptist. 3 colon 1. In those days John the Baptist came into the wilderness of Judea proclaiming. 3 colon 2. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. 
3 colon 3. For he is the one about whom Isaiah the prophet had spoken. The voice of one shouting in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the Lord, make his path straight. 3 colon 4. Now John wore clothing made from camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and his diet consisted of locusts and wild honey. 3 colon 5. Then people from Jerusalem, as well as all Judea and all the region around the Jordan, were going out to him. 3 colon 6 And he was baptizing them in the Jordan River as they confessed their sins. 3 colon 7 But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You offspring of vipers! Who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? 3 colon 8 Therefore produce fruit that proves your repentance. 3 colon 9 And don't think you can say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you that God can raise up children for Abraham from these stones. 3.10 Even now the axe is laid at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. 3.11 I baptize you with water, for repentance, but the one coming after me is more powerful than I am. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. 3.12 His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clean out his threshing floor and will gather his wheat into the storehouse, but the chaff he will burn up with inextinguishable fire. The Baptism of Jesus 3.13 then Jesus came from Galilee to John to be baptized by him in the Jordan River. 3.14 But John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you come to me. 3.15 So Jesus replied to him, Let it happen now, for it is right for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then John yielded to him. 316. After Jesus was baptized, just as he was coming up out of the water, the heavens opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming on him. 317. And a voice from heaven said, This is my one dear Son, in him I take great delight. Matthew 4. The Temptation of Jesus. 4 colon 1. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. 4 colon 2. After he fasted 40 days and 40 nights he was famished. 4 colon 3. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become bread. 4 colon 4. But he answered, it is written, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. 4 5 Then the devil took him to the holy city, had him stand on the highest point of the temple. 4 6 And said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you and with their hands they will lift you up, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. 4 7 Jesus said to him, Once again it is written, You are not to put the Lord your God to the test. 4 8 Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their grandeur. 4 9 And he said to him, I will give you all these things if you throw yourself to the ground and worship me. 4 10 Then Jesus said to him, Go away, Satan. For it is written, You are to worship the Lord your God and serve only him. 
4.11. Then the devil left him, and angels came and began ministering to his needs. Preaching in Galilee. 4.12. Now when Jesus heard that John had been imprisoned, he went into Galilee. 4.13. While in Galilee, he moved from Nazareth to make his home in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali. 4.14 So that what was spoken by Isaiah the prophet would be fulfilled. 4.15 Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali. The way by the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. 4.16 The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. And on those who sit in the region and shadow of death a light has dawned. 4.17 From that time Jesus began to preach this message, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. The Call of the Disciples 4.18 As he was walking by the Sea of Galilee he saw two brothers, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. 4.19 He said to them, Follow me, and I will turn you into fishers of people. 4.20 They left their nets immediately and followed him. 4.21 Going on from there he saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in a boat with Zebedee their father, mending their nets. Then he called them. 4.22 They immediately left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus Healing Ministry 4.23 Jesus went throughout all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of disease and sickness among the people. 4.24 So a report about him spread throughout Syria. People brought to him all who suffered with various illnesses and afflictions, those who had seizures, paralytics, and those possessed by demons, and he healed them. 4.25 and large crowds followed him from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan River. Matthew 5 The Beatitudes 5 1 When he saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. After he sat down his disciples came to him. 5 2 Then he began to teach them by saying, 5 3 Blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. 5 4 Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. 5 5 Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. 5 6 Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. 5 colon 7 Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. 5 colon 8 Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. 5 colon 9 Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. 5 10 Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. 5.11 Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil things about you falsely on account of me. 5.12 Rejoice and be glad because your reward is great in heaven, for they persecuted the prophets before you in the same way. Salt and Light 5.13 you are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its flavor, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled on by people. 5.14 You are the light of the world. 
a city located on a hill cannot be hidden. 515. People do not light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. 516. In the same way, let your light shine before people, so that they can see your good deeds and give honor to your Father in heaven. Fulfillment of the Law and Prophets 517. Do not think that I have come to abolish the Law or the Prophets. I have not come to abolish these things but to fulfill them. 518. I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth pass away not the smallest letter or stroke of a letter will pass from the law until everything takes place. 519. So anyone who breaks one of the least of these commands and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven, but whoever obeys them and teaches others to do so will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. 520. For I tell you, unless your righteousness goes beyond that of the experts in the law and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Anger and Murder 521. You have heard that it was said to an older generation, Do not murder, and whoever murders will be subjected to judgment. 522. But I say to you that anyone who is angry with a brother will be subjected to judgment. And whoever insults a brother will be brought before the council, and whoever says fool will be sent to fiery hell. 523. So then, if you bring your gift to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you. 524. Leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to your brother and then come and present your gift. 525. Reach agreement quickly with your accuser while on the way to court, or he may hand you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the warden, and you will be thrown into prison. 526. I tell you the truth, you will never get out of there until you have paid the last penny. Adultery. 527. You have heard that it was said, do not commit adultery. 528. But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to desire her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. 529. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into hell. 5.30 If your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into hell. Divorce 5.31 It was said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a legal document. 532. But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife, except for immorality, makes her commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Oaths. 533 Again, you have heard that it was said to an older generation, Do not break an oath, but fulfill your vows to the Lord. 534. But I say to you, do not take oaths at all, not by heaven, because it is the throne of God. 535 Not by earth, because it is his footstool, and not by Jerusalem, because it is the city of the great king. 536 Dot Do not take an oath by your head, because you are not able to make one hair white or black. 537. Let your word be yes, yes or no, no. More than this is from the evil one. Retaliation. 538. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. 539. 
But I say to you, do not resist the evildoer. But whoever strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other to him as well. 540. And if someone wants to sue you and to take your tunic, give him your coat also. 541. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him too. 542. Give to the one who asks you, and do not reject the one who wants to borrow from you. Love for enemies. 543. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. 544. But I say to you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. 545. So that you may be like your Father in heaven, since he causes the sun to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. 546. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Even the tax collectors do the same, don't they? 547. And if you only greet your brothers, what more do you do? Even the Gentiles do the same, don't they? 548. So then, be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Matthew 6. Pure-hearted giving. 6 1. Be careful not to display your righteousness merely to be seen by people. Otherwise you have no reward with your Father in heaven. 6 2. Thus whenever you do charitable giving, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in synagogues and on streets so that people will praise them. I tell you the truth, they have their reward. 6 3 But when you do your giving, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. 6 4 So that your gift may be in secret. And your father, who sees in secret, will reward you. Private Prayer 6 5 Whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, because they love to pray while standing in synagogues and on street corners so that people can see them. Truly I say to you, they have their reward. 6 6 But whenever you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. 6 7. When you pray, do not babble repetitiously like the Gentiles, because they think that by their many words they will be heard. 6 8. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. 6 9. So pray this way Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. 6.10 May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 6.11 Give us today our daily bread. 6.12 And forgive us our debts, as we ourselves have forgiven our debtors. 6.13 And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. 6.14 for if you forgive others their sins, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. 6.15 But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive you your sins. Proper Fasting 6.16 When you fast, do not look sullen like the hypocrites, for they make their faces unattractive so that people will see them fasting. I tell you the truth, they have their reward. 6.17 When you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face. 6.18 So that it will not be obvious to others when you are fasting, but only to your Father who is in secret. And your Father, 
who sees in secret, will reward you. Lasting Treasure 619 Do not accumulate for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. 620 But accumulate for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, and thieves do not break in and steal. 621 For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. 622 The eye is the lamp of the body. If then your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. 623 But if your eye is diseased, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? 624 No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Do not worry. 625 Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Isn't there more to life than food and more to the body than clothing? 626 Look at the birds in the sky, they do not sow, or reap, or gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you more valuable than they are? 6 27 And which of you by worrying can add even one hour to his life? 628 Why do you worry about clothing? Think about how the flowers of the field grow, they do not work or spin. 629 Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his glory was clothed like one of these. 630 And if this is how God clothes the wild grass, which is here today and tomorrow is tossed into the fire to heat the oven, won't he clothe you even more, you people of little faith? 631 So then, don't worry saying, what will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? 632 For the unconverted pursue these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. 633 But above all pursue his kingdom and righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. 634 So then, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Today has enough trouble of its own. Matthew 7 Do not judge. 7 1 do not judge so that you will not be judged. 7 2 For by the standard you judge you will be judged, and the measure you use will be the measure you receive. 7 3 Why do you see the speck in your brother's eye, but fail to see the beam of wood in your own? 7 4 Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye, while there is a beam in your own. 7 5 You hypocrite! First remove the beam from your own eye, and then you can see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. 7 6 Do not give what is holy to dogs or throw your pearls before pigs, otherwise they will trample them under their feet and turn around and tear you to pieces. Ask, seek, knock. 7 7 Ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened for you. 7 8 For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. 7 9 Is there anyone among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? 7 10 Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? 7 11 If you then, 
although you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? 712. In everything, treat others as you would want them to treat you, for this fulfills the law and the prophets. The Narrow Gate 713. Enter through the narrow gate, because the gate is wide and the way is spacious that leads to destruction, and there are many who enter through it. 714. But the gate is narrow and the way is difficult that leads to life, and there are few who find it. A tree and its fruit. 715. Watch out for false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly are voracious wolves. 716. You will recognize them by their fruit. Grapes are not gathered from thorns or figs from thistles, are they? 717. In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. 718. A good tree is not able to bear bad fruit, nor a bad tree to bear good fruit. 719. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. 720. So then, you will recognize them by their fruit. Judgment of Pretenders 721. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. 722. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name, and in your name cast out demons and do many powerful deeds? 723. Then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you lawbreakers. Hearing and doing. 724. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does them is like a wise man who built his house on rock. 725. The rain fell, the flood came, and the winds beat against that house, but it did not collapse because it had been founded on rock. 726. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. 727. The rain fell, the flood came, and the winds beat against that house, and it collapsed, it was utterly destroyed. 728. When Jesus finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed by his teaching. 729 Because he taught them like one who had authority, not like their experts in the law. Matthew 8 Cleansing a leper 8 1 After he came down from the mountain, large crowds followed him. 8 2 And a leper approached, and bowed low before him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. 8 3. He stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing. Be clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. 8 4. Then Jesus said to him, See that you do not speak to anyone, but go, show yourself to a priest, and bring the offering that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Healing the Centurion's Servant 8 5 When he entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. 8 6 Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, in terrible anguish. 8 7 Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. 8, 8. But the centurion replied, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof. Instead, 
just say the word and my servant will be healed. 8 9 For I too am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I say to this one, go and he goes, and to another come and he comes, and to my slave do this and he does it. 8.10 When Jesus heard this he was amazed and said to those who followed him, I tell you the truth, I have not found such faith in anyone in Israel. 8.11 I tell you, many will come from the east and west to share the banquet with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. 8.12 But the sons of the kingdom will be thrown out into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 8.13 Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go, just as you believed, it will be done for you. And the servant was healed at that hour. Healings at Peter's house. 8.14 Now when Jesus entered Peter's house, he saw his mother-in-law lying down, sick with a fever. 8.15 He touched her hand, and the fever left her. Then she got up and began to serve them. 8.16 When it was evening, many demon-possessed people were brought to him. He drove out the spirits with a word, and healed all who were sick. 8.17 in this way what was spoken by Isaiah the prophet was fulfilled. He took our weaknesses and carried our diseases. Challenging professed followers. 8.18 Now when Jesus saw a large crowd around him, he gave orders to go to the other side of the lake. 8.19 Then an expert in the law came to him and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. 8.20 Jesus said to him, Foxes have dens, and the birds in the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. 8.21 Another of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. 8.22 But Jesus said to him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their own dead. Stilling of a storm. 8.23 As he got into the boat, his disciples followed him. 8.24 And a great storm developed on the sea so that the waves began to swamp the boat. But he was asleep. 8.25 So they came and woke him up saying, Lord, save us. We are about to die. 8.26 But he said to them, Why are you cowardly, you people of little faith? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and it was dead calm. 8.27 And the men were amazed and said, What sort of person is this? Even the winds and the sea obey him. Healing the Gadarene Demoniacs 8.28 When he came to the other side, to the region of the Gadarenes, two demon-possessed men coming from the tombs met him. They were extremely violent, so that no one was able to pass by that way. 8.29 They cried out, Son of God, leave us alone. Have you come here to torment us before the time? 8.30 A large herd of pigs was feeding some distance from them. 8.31 Then the demons begged him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of pigs. 8.32 And he said, Go. So they came out and went into the pigs, and the herd rushed down the steep slope into the lake and drowned in the water. 8.33 The herdsmen ran off, went into the town, and told everything that had happened to the demon-possessed men. 8.34 Then the entire town came out to meet Jesus. 
and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their region. Matthew 9 Healing and Forgiving a Paralytic 9.1 After getting into a boat he crossed to the other side and came to his own town. 9.2 Just then some people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Have courage, son. Your sins are forgiven. 9.3. Then some of the experts in the law said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. 9.4. When Jesus saw their reaction, he said, Why do you respond with evil in your hearts? 9.5. Which is easier, to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Stand up and walk? 9.6. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, then he said to the paralytic, Stand up, take your stretcher, and go home. 9.7 And he stood up and went home. 9.8 When the crowd saw this, they were afraid and honored God who had given such authority to men. The Call of Matthew eating with sinners. 9 9 As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax booth. Follow me, he said to him. And he got up and followed him. 9 10 As Jesus was having a meal in Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with Jesus and his disciples. 9 11 when the Pharisees saw this they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? 9.12 When Jesus heard this he said, Those who are healthy don't need a physician, but those who are sick do. 9.13 Go and learn what this saying means, I want mercy and not sacrifice. For I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The superiority of the new. 9.14 Then John's disciples came to Jesus and asked, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples don't fast? 9.15 Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot mourn while the bridegroom is with them, can they? But the days are coming when the bridegroom will be taken from them, and then they will fast. 9.16 No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, because the patch will pull away from the garment and the tear will be worse. 9.17 And no one pours new wine into old wine skins, otherwise the skins burst and the wine is spilled out and the skins are destroyed. Instead they put new wine into new wineskins and both are preserved. Restoration and Healing 9.18 As he was saying these things, a ruler came, bowed low before him, and said, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and she will live. 9.19 Jesus and his disciples got up and followed him. 920. But a woman who had been suffering from a hemorrhage for twelve years came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. 921. For she kept saying to herself, If only I touch his cloak, I will be healed. 922. But when Jesus turned and saw her he said, Have courage, daughter. Your faith has made you well. And the woman was healed from that hour. 9.23 When Jesus entered the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the disorderly crowd. 9.24 He said, Go away, for the girl is not dead but asleep. And they began making fun of him. 9.25 But when the crowd had been put outside, 
he went in and gently took her by the hand, and the girl got up. 926. And the news of this spread throughout that region. Healing the blind and mute. 927. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, shouting, Have mercy on us, son of David. 928. When he went into the house, the blind men came to him. Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. 929. Then he touched their eyes saying, Let it be done for you according to your faith. 930. And their eyes were opened. Then Jesus sternly warned them, See that no one knows about this. 931. But they went out and spread the news about him throughout that entire region. 932 As they were going away, a man who could not talk and was demon-possessed was brought to him. 933. After the demon was cast out, the man who had been mute spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. 934. But the Pharisees said, By the ruler of demons he casts out demons. Workers for the harvest. 935 Then Jesus went throughout all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every kind of disease and sickness. 936. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were bewildered and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. 937. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. 938. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. Matthew 10. Sending out the twelve apostles. 10:1. Jesus called his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits so they could cast them out and heal every kind of disease and sickness. 10:2. Now these are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew his brother. James son of Zebedee and John his brother. 10.3 Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus. 10.4. Simon the zealot and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. 10.5 Jesus sent out these twelve, instructing them as follows, do not go to Gentile regions and do not enter any Samaritan town. 10.6 Go instead to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. 10.7 As you go, preach this message, the kingdom of heaven is near. 10.8 Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. Freely you received, freely give. 10.9 Do not take gold, silver, or copper in your belts. 10.10 No bag for the journey, or an extra tunic, or sandals, or staff, for the worker deserves his provisions. 10.11 Whenever you enter a town or village, Find out who is worthy there and stay with them until you leave. 10.12 As you enter the house, give it greetings. 10.13 And if the house is worthy, let your peace come on it, but if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. 10.14 And if anyone will not welcome you or listen to your message, Shake the dust off your feet as you leave that house or that town. 10.15 I tell you the truth, 
it will be more bearable for the region of Sodom and Gomorrah on the Day of Judgment than for that town. Persecution of Disciples 10.16 I am sending you out like sheep surrounded by wolves, so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. 10.17 Beware of people, because they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues. 10.18 And you will be brought before governors and kings because of me, as a witness to them and the Gentiles. 10.19 Whenever they hand you over for trial, do not worry about how to speak or what to say, for what you should say will be given to you at that time. 10.20 for it is not you speaking, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. 10.21 Brother will hand over brother to death, and a father his child. Children will rise against parents and have them put to death. 10.22 And you will be hated by everyone because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. 10.23 Whenever they persecute you in one place, flee to another. I tell you the truth, you will not finish going through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. 10.24 A disciple is not greater than his teacher, nor a slave greater than his master. 10.25 It is enough for the disciple to become like his teacher, and the slave like his master. If they have called the head of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they defame the members of his household? Fear God, not man. 1026 Do not be afraid of them, for nothing is hidden that will not be revealed, and nothing is secret that will not be made known. 1027 What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light, and what is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the housetops. 1028. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Instead, fear the one who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. 1029. Aren't two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. 10.30. Even all the hairs on your head are numbered. 10.31. So do not be afraid, you are more valuable than many sparrows. 10.32. Whoever, then, acknowledges me before people, I will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. 10.33. But whoever denies me before people, I will deny him also before my Father in heaven. Not peace, but a sword. 10.34 Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace but a sword. 10.35 For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. 1036 And a man's enemies will be the members of his household. 1037 Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. 1038 And whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. 1039 Whoever finds his life will lose it and whoever loses his life because of me will find it. Rewards 1040 Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. 1041 Whoever receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Whoever receives a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. 1042. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, I tell you the truth, he will never lose his reward.
Matthew 11 11 colon 1 when Jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples he went on from there to teach and preach in their towns Jesus and John the Baptist 11 colon 2 now when John heard in prison about the deeds Christ had done he sent his disciples to ask a question 11 colon 3 are you the one who is to come or should we look for another 11 colon 4 Jesus answered them go tell John what you hear and see 11 colon 5 the blind see the lame walk lepers are cleansed the deaf hear the dead are raised and the poor have good news proclaimed to them 11 colon 6 blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me 11 colon 7 while they were going away Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John what did you go out into the wilderness to see a reed shaken by the wind 11 colon 8 dot what did you go out to see a man dressed in fancy clothes look those who wear fancy clothes are in the homes of kings 11 colon 9 what did you go out to see a prophet yes i tell you and more than a prophet 11 10 this is the one about whom it is written look i am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way before you 11 11 i tell you the truth among those born of women no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist. Yet the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he is. 11-12 From the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and forceful people lay hold of it. 11-13 For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John appeared. 11-14 and if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, who is to come. 11.15 The one who has ears had better listen. 11.16 To what should I compare this generation? They are like children sitting in the marketplaces who call out to one another. 11.17 We played the flute for you, yet you did not dance. We wailed in mourning, yet you did not weep. 11.18 For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, he has a demon. 11.19 The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, look at him, a glutton and a drunk, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. Woes on unrepentant cities. 11.20 Then Jesus began to criticize openly the cities in which he had done many of his miracles, because they did not repent. 11.21 Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! If the miracles done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. 11.22 But I tell you, it will be more bearable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. 11.23 And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be thrown down to Hades. For if the miracles done among you had been done in Sodom, it would have continued to this day. 11.24 But I tell you, it will be more bearable for the region of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. Jesus' Invitation 11.25 At that time Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and intelligent, and revealed them to little children. 11.26 
Yes, Father, for this was your gracious will. 1127. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son decides to reveal him. 1128. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. 1129. Take my yoke on you and learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. 1130. For my yoke is easy to bear, and my load is not hard to carry. Matthew 12. Lord of the Sabbath. 12 colon 1. At that time Jesus went through the grain fields on a Sabbath. His disciples were hungry, and they began to pick heads of wheat and eat them. 12 colon 2. But when the Pharisees saw this they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is against the law to do on the Sabbath. 12 colon 3. He said to them, Haven't you read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? 12 colon 4 How he entered the house of God and they ate the sacred bread, which was against the law for him or his companions to eat, but only for the priests? 12 colon 5 Or have you not read in the law that the priests in the temple desecrate the Sabbath and yet are not guilty? 12 colon 6 I tell you that something greater than the temple is here. 12 colon 7 If you had known what this means, I want mercy and not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the innocent. 12 colon 8 For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. 12 colon 9 Then Jesus left that place and entered their synagogue. 12 10 A man was there who had a withered hand. And they asked Jesus, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath, so that they could accuse him? 12.11 He said to them, Would not any one of you, if he had one sheep that fell into a pit on the Sabbath, take hold of it and lift it out? 12.12 12. How much more valuable is a person than a sheep? So it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. 12.13 then he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and it was restored, as healthy as the other. 12.14 But the Pharisees went out and plotted against him, as to how they could assassinate him. God's special servant. 12.15 Now when Jesus learned of this, he went away from there. Great crowds followed him and he healed them all. 12.16 But he sternly warned them not to make him known. 12.17 This fulfilled what was spoken by Isaiah the prophet. 12.18 Here is my servant whom I have chosen. The one I love, in whom I take great delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. 1219 He will not quarrel or cry out. Nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. 1220 He will not break a bruised reed or extinguish a smoldering wick. Until he brings justice to victory. 1221 And in his name the Gentiles will hope. Jesus and Beelzebul. 1222 then they brought to him a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute. Jesus healed him so that he could speak and see. 12.23 All the crowds were amazed and said, Could this one be the son of David? 12.24 But when the Pharisees heard this they said, He does not cast out demons except by the power of Beelzebul, the ruler of demons. 
1225. Now when Jesus realized what they were thinking, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is destroyed, and no town or house divided against itself will stand. 1226. So if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? 1227. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? For this reason they will be your judges. 1228. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has already overtaken you. 1229. How else can someone enter a strong man's house and steal his property, unless he first ties up the strong man? Then he can thoroughly plunder the house. 1230 Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. 1231 For this reason I tell you, people will be forgiven for every sin and blasphemy, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. 1232 Whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. Trees and their fruit. 1233 Make a tree good and its fruit will be good, or make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad, for a tree is known by its fruit. 1234. Offspring of vipers. How are you able to say anything good, since you are evil? For the mouth speaks from what fills the heart. 1235. The good person brings good things out of his good treasury, and the evil person brings evil things out of his evil treasury. 1236. I tell you that on the day of judgment, people will give an account for every worthless word they speak. 1237. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. The Sign of Jonah. 1238. Then some of the experts in the law along with some Pharisees answered him, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. 1239 But he answered them, An evil and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. 1240 For just as Jonah was in the belly of the huge fish for three days and three nights, so the Son of Man will be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. 1241 The people of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because they repented when Jonah preached to them, and now, something greater than Jonah is here. 1242 The Queen of the South will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and now, something greater than Solomon is here. The Return of the Unclean Spirit 1243 When an unclean spirit goes out of a person, it passes through waterless places looking for rest but does not find it. 1244 Then it says, I will return to the home I left. When it returns, it finds the house empty, swept clean, and put in order. 1245 Then it goes and brings with it seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they go in and live there, so the last state of that person is worse than the first. It will be that way for this evil generation as well. Jesus True Family 1246 While Jesus was still speaking to the crowds, his mother and brothers came and stood outside, asking to speak to him. 1247 Someone told him, Look, 
your mother and your brothers are standing outside wanting to speak to you. 1248. To the one who had said this, Jesus replied, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? 1249. And pointing toward his disciples he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. 1250. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Matthew 13. The Parable of the Sower. 13 colon 1 On that day after Jesus went out of the house, he sat by the lake. 13 colon 2 And such a large crowd gathered around him that he got into a boat to sit while the whole crowd stood on the shore. 13 colon 3 He told them many things in parables, saying, Listen. A sower went out to sell. 13 colon 4 and as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. 13.5 Other seeds fell on rocky ground where they did not have much soil. They sprang up quickly because the soil was not deep. 13.6 But when the sun came up, they were scorched, and because they did not have sufficient root, they withered. 13.7 Other seeds fell among the thorns, and they grew up and choked them. 13.8 But other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundred times as much, some sixty, and some thirty. 13.9 The one who has ears had better listen. 13.10 Then the disciples came to him and said, why do you speak to them in parables? 13.11 He replied, You have been given the opportunity to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but they have not. 13.12 For whoever has will be given more, and will have an abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. 13.13 for this reason I speak to them in parables, although they see they do not see, and although they hear they do not hear nor do they understand. 13.14 And concerning them the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled that says, You will listen carefully yet will never understand. You will look closely yet will never comprehend. 13.15 for the heart of this people has become dull. They are hard of hearing. And they have shut their eyes. So that they would not see with their eyes. And hear with their ears. And understand with their hearts. And turn, and I would heal them. 1316 But your eyes are blessed because they see, and your ears because they hear. 1317. For I tell you the truth, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see but did not see it, and to hear what you hear but did not hear it. 1318. So listen to the parable of the sower. 1319. When anyone hears the word about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches what was sown in his heart, this is the seed sown along the path. 1320 The seed sown on rocky ground is the person who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. 1321 But he has no root in himself and does not endure, when trouble or persecution comes because of the word, immediately he falls away. 1322 the seed sown among thorns is the person who hears the word, but worldly cares and the seductiveness of wealth choke the word, so it produces nothing. 1323 But as for the seed sown on good soil, this is the person who hears the word and understands. He bears fruit, 
yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. The Parable of the Weeds 1324 He presented them with another parable, the kingdom of heaven is like a person who sowed good seed in his field. 1325 But while everyone was sleeping, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. 1326 When the plants sprouted and bore grain, then the weeds also appeared. 1327 So the slaves of the owner came and said to him, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Then where did the weeds come from? 1328 He said, An enemy has done this. So the slaves replied, Do you want us to go and gather them? 1329 But he said, No, since in gathering the weeds you may uproot the wheat with them. 1330 let both grow together until the harvest. At harvest time I will tell the reapers, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned, but then gather the wheat into my barn. The Parable of the Mustard Seed 1331 He gave them another parable, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field. 1332 it is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown it is the greatest garden plant and becomes a tree, so that the wild birds come and nest in its branches. The Parable of the Yeast 1333 He told them another parable, The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of flour until all the dough had risen. The Purpose of Parables 1334 Jesus spoke all these things in parables to the crowds, he did not speak to them without a parable. 1335 This fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will announce what has been hidden from the foundation of the world. Explanation for the Disciples 1336 Then he left the crowds and went into the house. And his disciples came to him saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. 1337 He answered, The one who sowed the good seed is the son of man. 1338 The field is the world and the good seed are the people of the kingdom. The weeds are the people of the evil one. 1339 And the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. 1340 As the weeds are collected and burned with fire, so it will be at the end of the age. 1341 The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather from his kingdom everything that causes sin as well as all lawbreakers. 1342 They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 1343 Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. The one who has ears had better listen. Parables on the Kingdom of Heaven 1344. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure, hidden in a field, that a person found and hid. Then because of joy he went and sold all that he had and bought that field. 1345. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. 1346. When he found a pearl of great value, he went out and sold everything he had and bought it. 1347 Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was cast into the sea that caught all kinds of fish. 1348 When it was full, they pulled it ashore, sat down, and put the good fish into containers and threw the bad away. 1349 
it will be this way at the end of the age. Angels will come and separate the evil from the righteous. 1350 And throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 1351 Have you understood all these things? They replied, Yes. 1352 Then he said to them, Therefore every expert in the law who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the owner of a house who brings out of his treasure what is new and old. Rejection at Nazareth 1353 Now when Jesus finished these parables, he moved on from there. 1354 Then he came to his hometown and began to teach the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and miraculous powers? 1355 Isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't his mother named Mary? And aren't his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? 1356 And aren't all his sisters here with us? Where did he get all this? 1357 And so they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in his own house. 1358 And he did not do many miracles there because of their unbelief. Matthew 14 The Death of John the Baptist 14.1 At that time Herod the Tetrarch heard reports about Jesus. 14.2 And he said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. And because of this, miraculous powers are at work in him. 14.3 For Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. 14.4 Because John had repeatedly told him, It is not lawful for you to have her. 14.5 Although Herod wanted to kill John, he feared the crowd because they accepted John as a prophet. 14.6 But on Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod. 14.7 So much that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she asked. 14.8 Instructed by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Baptist here on a platter. 14.9 Although it grieved the king, because of his oath and the dinner guests he commanded it to be given. 14.10 So he sent and had John beheaded in the prison. 14.11 His head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, and she brought it to her mother. 14.12 Then John's disciples came and took the body and buried it and went and told Jesus. The Feeding of the Five Thousand 14.13 Now when Jesus heard this he went away from there privately in a boat to an isolated place. But when the crowd heard about it, they followed him on foot from the towns. 14.14 14. As he got out he saw the large crowd, and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. 14.15 when evening arrived, his disciples came to him saying, This is an isolated place and the hour is already late. Send the crowds away so that they can go into the villages and buy food for themselves. 14.16 But he replied, They don't need to go. You give them something to eat. 14.17 They said to him, we have here only five loaves and two fish. 14.18 Bring them here to me, he replied. 14.19 Then he instructed the crowds to sit down on the grass. 
he took the five loaves and two fish, and looking up to heaven he gave thanks and broke the loaves. He gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. 1420. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the broken pieces left over, twelve baskets full. 1421. Not counting women and children, there were about five thousand men who ate. Walking on water. 1422. Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side, while he dispersed the crowds. 1423. And after he sent the crowds away, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. 1424. Meanwhile the boat, already far from land, was taking a beating from the waves because the wind was against it. 1425. As the night was ending, Jesus came to them walking on the sea. 1426. When the disciples saw him walking on the water they were terrified and said, It's a ghost, and cried out with fear. 1427. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, Have courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. 1428. Peter said to him, Lord, if it is you, order me to come to you on the water. 1429. So he said, Come. Peter got out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. 1430. But when he saw the strong wind he became afraid. And starting to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. 1431. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? 1432. When they went up into the boat, the wind ceased. 1433. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. 1434 After they had crossed over, they came to land at Genesaret. 1435. When the people there recognized him, they sent word into all the surrounding area, and they brought all their sick to him. 1436. They begged him if they could only touch the edge of his cloak, and all who touched it were healed. Matthew 15. Breaking Human Traditions. 15.1. Then Pharisees and experts in the law came from Jerusalem to Jesus and said. 15.2. Why do your disciples disobey the tradition of the elders? for they don't wash their hands when they eat. 15.3 He answered them, And why do you disobey the commandment of God because of your tradition? 15.4 For God said, Honor your father and mother and whoever insults his father or mother must be put to death. 15.5 But you say, if someone tells his father or mother, whatever help you would have received from me is given to God. 15.6 He does not need to honor his father. You have nullified the word of God on account of your tradition. 15.7 Hypocrites! Isaiah prophesied correctly about you when he said. 15.8 This people honors me with their lips but their heart is far from me. 15.9 And they worship me in vain, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. True Defilement 15.10 Then he called the crowd to him and said, Listen, and understand. 15.11 What defile a person is not what goes into the mouth, 
it is what comes out of the mouth that defile a person. 1512. Then the disciples came to him and said, Do you know that when the Pharisees heard the saying they were offended? 1513. And he replied, Every plant that my heavenly Father did not plant will be uprooted. 1514. Leave them. They are blind guides. If someone who is blind leads another who is blind, both will fall into a pit. 1515. But Peter said to him, Explain this parable to us. 1516. Jesus said, Even after all this, are you still so foolish? 1517. Don't you understand that whatever goes into the mouth enters the stomach and then passes out into the sewer? 1518. But the things that come out of the mouth come from the heart, and these things defile a person. 1519. For out of the heart come evil ideas, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false testimony, slander. 1520. These are the things that defile a person, it is not eating with unwashed hands that defile a person. A Canaanite woman's faith. 1521 After going out from there, Jesus went to the region of Tyre and Sidon. 1522 A Canaanite woman from that area came and cried out, Have mercy on me, Lord, Son of David. My daughter is horribly demon-possessed. 1523 But he did not answer her a word. Then his disciples came and begged him, Send her away, because she keeps on crying out after us. 1524 So he answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. 1525 But she came and bowed down before him and said, Lord, help me. 1526 It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs, he said. 1527 Yes, Lord, she replied, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. 1528 Then Jesus answered her, Woman, your faith is great. Let what you want be done for you. And her daughter was healed from that hour. Healing many others. 1529 When he left there, Jesus went along the Sea of Galilee. Then he went up a mountain, where he sat down. 1530 Then large crowds came to him bringing with them the lame, blind, crippled, mute, and many others. They laid them at his feet, and he healed them. 1531 As a result, the crowd was amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the crippled healthy, the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they praised the God of Israel. The Feeding of the Four Thousand 1532 Then Jesus called the disciples and said, I have compassion on the crowd, because they have already been here with me three days and they have nothing to eat. I don't want to send them away hungry since they may faint on the way. 1533 The disciples said to him, Where can we get enough bread in this desolate place to satisfy so great a crowd? 1534 Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? They replied, Seven, and a few small fish. 1535 after instructing the crowd to sit down on the ground. 1536 He took the seven loaves and the fish, and after giving thanks, he broke them and began giving them to the disciples, who then gave them to the crowds. 1537 
They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. 1538. Not counting children and women, there were four thousand men who ate. 1539. After sending away the crowd, he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadan. 1540-41. 